say hello. Theoretical physicist, and more specifically, I work in the field of string theory. Ich arbeite für das Katrin Experiment. Und Katrin probiert die Neutrino Masse zu messen. Neutrinos sind so Teilchen, die von der Sonne kommen zum Beispiel. Und eine große Frage ist, wie schwer die sind. Hello, I'm a theoretical physicist. I am a theoretical physicist. I am working in cosmology and particle physics. So I'm experimental physicist and I'm working on the testing of the pixel modules for the upgrade of the Atlas experiment. Hi, I'm Antonella. I'm a theoretical physicist and I work in the field of quantum field theory. My work as an experimental physicist is that of building new detectors for dark matter. I've always loved physics because uh, I love challenges, I love mathematics and I love trying to understand how the, the world works. Um, some time ago I found a diary that I'd written when I was about five or six years old and I found out that apparently when I was five I already wanted to be a scientist. Uh, I didn't know what physics was at the time uh, and I think that I was very obsessed with wanting to know um, all the things I couldn't see, whether it was like the past in terms of the universe or very like all the little particles that you cannot see. I decided to study physics because I'm a very curious person and because whenever I see something, I cannot avoid asking myself why or how. I think it has always been fascinating in school. In school, I realized that there is this mathematical thinking und auch Sachen genau auf den Grund zu gehen. Eben dieses, dass man sich nicht damit zufrieden gibt, nur oberflächliche Erklärungen zu finden, sondern wirklich äh, die Essenz von was zu begreifen. Das hat mich fasziniert. Growing up, I used to like all the science subjects at school, uh, but I specifically preferred physics because I couldn't see myself getting bored of it. I remember one of the things that um brought me closer to physics was the discovery of the Higgs boson. I don't know if you remember, but it was all over the news. And I remember for me, it was the first time I really realized we we're still making big discoveries in physics. And that made me think I, I also want to be part of it. And I think one of the things that inspired me the most was the fact that um, the one telling the world this news was a woman, Fabiola Chanel. I, I think besides the fact that uh, science helps us to understand the world we are living in, what is very inspiring for me is that scientists usually work in these big teams where you have people from everywhere, from the world, from different countries, different backgrounds, a group of very, very different people, but they're working together towards the mutual goal. I like what I'm doing because some days I wake up and I really want to know the answer to these questions and I like to think so other people do too. So if I figure out the answers to, you know, where everything came from, then that's going to make someone sleep better at night. My biggest inspiration is exactly that of trying to answer to one of the biggest questions still open nowadays. are trying to get even more particles um, involved and see what's happening. It's kind of funny because I'm studying integrable models and there you just need the two body scattering matrix <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> we are doing six particles. Okay, that's for me that's what we got total head. Like, just give me an integrable system. 